Today I have another Surging Sparks update for you guys. We're gonna cover all the sealed product, a ton of the singles, and we're gonna talk about where this is at, what does it mean, should you be freaking out? And starting with the booster boxes, a few videos ago, I think it was like three or four days ago, I talked about that these boxes were possibly gonna be above MSRP at or before release. I was thinking more at, but we've already surpassed it. It's Wednesday, the set doesn't even officially release until Friday, and we're seeing $163 sales. For reference, the new MSRP in this area is 161, which is kind of wild. So last solds, I mean, look at this. You're just gonna see all 163s. There was a 164 in here and a 157, but pretty consistently 163. These boxes are up 40% in the past month alone. That's wild. So assuming I get my booster boxes, which I'm supposed to, at 100, uh, I paid about 100 a box. I'm gonna be up $63 per box already, which is freaking wild. Um, but this is the era that we're in. This is the market. Uh, it is what it is. You know, something that did surprise me though, a lot was these ETBs. Now this is the regular ETB. This isn't the Pokemon center one, obviously. I mean, you can tell by the price, right? It's not as expensive, but we don't normally see this, right? At least in recent times, right? COVID times, things were crazy, right? But we're, this isn't COVID, right? But demand, demand is, outstripping the supply it seems like and the hype once the once this, these products get on the hype train apparently it is just unstoppable um so these regular etbs are selling like last sold was we'll call this 50 it was 49.93 49 or 50 47 47 right uh it's just for a regular etb usually with sets you can get the regular etbs all day long but i'm wondering if people are starting to get priced out of the booster boxes and they're moving over to the etbs now, this does have a really nice promo card, the Magneton, it's really nice, uh, but we'll see, it looks like pull rates are really tough for this set, I mean, we're, we'll, you'll see that in the singles prices in a second, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, when's the last time you guys saw an ETB uh, pre-selling before release at 50 for a normal ETB, besides Prismatic, Prismatic is, whew, that's going to be a whole nother, that's going to be a whole nother thing, not even out till January and we're seeing crazy sales, but uh, for a mainline set. So Prismatic, you know, it, it's a, a specialty set, so it only has ETBs and booster bundles and other things. It doesn't have booster boxes. This is a set that has booster boxes, and we're seeing ETBs up 13% in the past month. Like, usually these stay low for a long time. This is, the, the market's getting a little scary, honestly. Um, we're gonna take a look at some other products, too. It's not, like, look, look at this, booster bundles. Booster bundles are up 25% in the past month, right? They're up to $29, which, you know, isn't, isn't terrible right but it's just it's not it's not good compared to what it was i mean oops i didn't need to zoom out to the one year um so these were pre-selling at around 30 they came down to 22 and then they've run up and they're almost approaching that 30 dollar uh mark uh, some interesting stuff to think about uh for people who are wanting to sell this set break this set if they're like live streaming breaking they're gonna need packs uh, if the booster boxes are too expensive they're gonna move to the other product right so, I mean, it's not totally surprising, but it's just it's just a little weird to see. I'm just not fully used to it yet, right? I'm ready for this, but I'm not used to it. I don't want to see it, right? Uh, I liked it when boxes were cheap, but this is the market that we're in. So cases, I don't. I feel like I don't talk about cases as often as I should on here, which is my bad. Uh, but we got cases on here, booster box cases. That's six per case. If you're not familiar, thirty percent gain in the past one month. Last solds we're seeing. 970, 980. This is going to be a thousand dollar box probably by the end of the week at this rate. Uh, case, thousand dollar case, right? Um, so just another another product. I mean, this one doesn't surprise me as much, right? Um, what else we got? Okay, regular booster packs. This is just a regular loose pack. 21% up. We're seeing uh, 449, 480s market. Last sold 449. People are just wanting even loose packs. Oof, I mean. These were in the three dollars, and they ran all the way up. So uh, percentage gains pretty big. I mean, we're seeing four fifty-five dollars about um, per loose. These are loose packs. These aren't even the sleeved. Now this one did surprise me when you start to look at that sleeved packs. Uh, I mean, while albeit price-wise are you know about where the other packs are, I feel like sleeved usually demands just like a little bit of a premium. Um, sleeved is the exception to the rule currently. Uh, for as far as going up for sealed product, it's down off of pre-release prices, uh, but I mean, it's pretty much just flat for a while now, around just under five bucks. 
However, there is a most recent sale at 674, so we'll see. I would assume that these are on the uptick. Maybe they're just lagging behind some of the other products. So sleeve boosters are moving. It's uh, maybe starting to move, I should say. Um, let's see. Okay, so we'll talk about where else could you get surging sparks right now. Um, not every, not everyone has to get off TCG player. I understand that. So we're gonna look at a few other websites. Uh, starting off with Forge and Fire. Um, this is who I pre-ordered my cases through originally. Uh, it was like when they first put them live. Um, they have, if you're looking for like to get really nice sealed boxes and you want to pay a little bit extra, they have like a double boxing thing. Anyways, um, not every, not every website does that, uh, but they do offer it. You'd have to pay a little extra. So if you want to have guaranteed, you know, nicer boxes, just, just so you guys know, I'm not saying you guys have to go with Forge and Fire, but uh, they still have pre-orders up for 150, which is obviously below 163. So a uh, pretty decent price considering where it's at. Unfortunately, um, a lot of people in the Discord uh, we're ta we're talking about rare candy. Whereas uh, for for prismatic for surging, there I was hearing a lot of rare candy talk. This is the only listing on rare candy is above TCG at 165 currently. Right. Well, um, we'll go back. I'll go back to the uh, page so you guys can see. Right, we have ETBs sold out. They went, they were 40. Um, see, so booster boxes, you got bundles. Uh, yeah, everything else is on here, right? Uh, but that is the only box currently available on Rare Candy. Something interesting uh, to note, uh, because you can't buy this, right? I would say if market's 163, I would go, okay, Pokemon Center at 161 might be a deal. However, these are currently sold out. These should, should, not a guarantee come back into stock on Friday, which is when the set releases. I'm only basing that off of what Stellar Crown did. When Stellar Crown, like a week before Stellar Crown came out, uh, everything sold out, I made a video on that. And this is where surging is. So in theory, if it's to follow, because I, I, I don't believe that all of these products sold out at the same time from the Pokemon Center, uh, these should be coming back into stock on Friday. So uh, set your alarms, right, wake up early, uh, you, I don't know what time. I don't have an actual time. Let me know in the comments if you guys know about what time Stellar came back into stock. Uh, so keep an eye out on that because on, uh, it's wild, but booster boxes from the Pokemon Center are below market for the most part-ish, right? So there's there's other websites, right? You guys can go try and find other better deals. Uh, just be careful. Be careful out there. Don't order from any sketchy websites. Um, now we're going to talk about singles again and, and i know these are pre-release prices i understand that okay uh traditionally if you guys aren't familiar pre-release prices are really high and they fall off they, they take a while and they just they steadily decline for a while uh, that's what we've seen in the past however this is we, we saw like the twilight uh masquerade greninja it came up came down and then it like just shot up after release which isn't what we normally see and there's so much more hype around this set and prismatic that we've more hype than we've seen in a long time. So it is, it, nobody can tell you for certain, it is possible that this Pikachu card, which is currently the most expensive card in the set, uh, it's selling for around $300, right? And we've had the most sales of this card. Uh, we had five sales yesterday on November 5th. $1,500 of this card came out. And not a lot of people have these in their possession. So it could be a supply and demand. A lot more supply comes out and then the price can come down. But it is also possible that I, I can see a scenario with the, the market is just so insane that this card runs up to four or five hundred dollars after release. I could see that happening. I really could. Um, something else that's going to be really wild is whoever has pulled this early, whether from a pre-release kit or they got their product early, if they had a clean copy and sent it to PSA, these early PSA 10 sales are going to be wild. Absolutely wild. Uh, but anyways, this is just, I'm just bringing these singles up just because it's not as relevant and we don't know, and it's possibly more volatile, but I do think it is something that you guys should be aware of, right? It's a little scary when you start to look at it, right? Here's the set. Um, TCG's finally getting most of the pictures up, which is really nice. We got the Pikachu at 300, the Latias, which is a special illustration rare as well, at a $200 card. Lissy's Appeal at 140. The Hydreigon, uh, which doesn't have his picture yet, I really like that card, 112. You got the Milotic, which I actually, I thought that would be pre-release around 100. It's it's it is there. It's below 195. Um, the Florida Christmas tree over here you got at 91. Jasmine's gaze at 82. Uh, the Latios. This is just an illustration rare. Uh, is this the most? Yeah, this is the most expensive illustration rare. 
uh, yeah, so $45. Um, so this is a connected art card. It goes with the Latias. Um, the, you know, the popular Pokemon. They got the Lovebirds card. Very expensive, right? Um, so these should do well. Um, Gold Pikachu is at 40 Uh Clement's Quick Wit, 44 right? Um, then down here, <coughs> excuse me, we have some illustration rares. I really like the Cerulege cards at 31 bucks. Skarmory is at 26 uh, Phoebus is at 20 which is kind of wild. I mean, that goes with the Milotic, so that makes sense. Um, I think that's, is that a, I think that's a connected art card as well. This card goes below um, the Milotic, so there's something there. Um, if these cards drop, how much are they going to drop? That's kind of a game I wanted to play in this video. Just talk about it just a little. If the Pikachu gets cut in half, we'll say everything gets cut in half. That brings Pikachu to 150, Latias to 100, 70. I mean, I don't know. That's, I, it depends, like, kind of if we use Twilight as an example, which isn't a perfect example, the, uh, the, the Greninja went up but a lot of the other cards have been coming down. So if the Pikachu continues to go up and maybe some of these other ones decline, I don't know, I just, I see a lot of demand for the Latias as well. Um, but yeah, so this is this is where we're at with, these are the most expensive cards currently. Um, we'll go to page two just to take a look at some of the other illustration rares uh, you guys can see. So uh, like Fanfi, I think it's a super adorable card. We've talked about this before and Braviary. These are fairly affordable, 11 bucks right now. It's not crazy. Some of these illustration rare cards uh, in PSA 10s can be expensive because they can be tough to grade. It depends on the print run. Um, just so you guys know, keep keep an eye on that. Uh, but PSA prices out the gate are going to be kind of crazy to start too. Um, I don't think there's really even page three. We're seeing Shinotic at five bucks. Like this is where I don't take too much stock on page two and page three. It's mainly page one that we're wanting to look at. Um, in summary, uh, surging is insane. The market is insane. I'm insane. Um, no, I don't. Yeah, maybe I'm a little insane. But um, I want to know your guys' thoughts. I want to know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's it's exciting, ish, as in it from the investing side, right? It does feel good to order a box and before it gets to you, it's up sixty percent. That does feel good. But the collector side of me, it starts to wonder, because what I tend to do is I tend to collect a, like everything, like a little bit from every set. And I don't, I have a hard time like focusing in on just like one set. Uh, it's been a little bit annoying to me. Uh, but anyways, um, so the collector side of me, you know, I, I, I'm not the biggest Pikachu fan, but I wouldn't mind having that Pikachu card, but I'm not, I'm not going to pay 300 plus for that card currently. So it, if I miss out, I miss out kind of thing. Um, I, I do plan on opening some products. So we'll see what I pull if I pull it, but I'm also like of the mind, if I pull the Pikachu, I'm not going to sell it for 300, right? Maybe if I graded it and it got a 10 and it was like 800, a thousand or something crazy, then I might think about it, but you know, like that's, that's the downside of the, the collecting side. It always gets me right. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see where this set ends, but that's, it's just a few days before things are already crazy. I'm a little scared if this is what, like, this is surging, right? And we've seen already prismatic stuff, like just sells out, just sells out right everywhere. What is team rocket going to be? Because if I honestly hearing all these sets, I'm the most excited for team rocket personally. We'll see. Well, obviously, we'll see when, when we get more. But I think the Team Rocket set's going to be crazy. I, I don't. I don't think. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't really want to think about that too much. But uh, boxes are going to be expensive. Well, that's all. That's all there is to it. The hype is real. Um, the Pokemon market's crazy. Uh, and that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, this Surging Sparks update. That's all. Just touch on everything. Uh, might touch on this. Again, maybe at release, after release, I don't know, uh, or incorporate it in another video, so it's just a little section. But um, Surging Sparks is wild. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.